What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plot. Welcome back to another Farms of Madison County video. Of course, here on Farm Sim 19. And boy, oh boy, I've got a story for you guys a little bit. Uh, we were picking up cotton bales, guys. I've got all my baling done over the 4th of July. Actually, it was the 3rd of July. I was able to fire up on some of the big fields and I just let it rip. I actually went to bed while it was working. Okay. Yeah, literally went to bed let it run on like mount puma plow and and whatever the big fields so there's that all right so we're picking up cotton bales now and you guys will notice that i'm not going to like the 20 field 21 22 23 and part of mount puma plow has already been picked up i lost an hour worth of recording um that's the day i've talked about it on stream a couple times i my power went out and yes my computers are on a battery backup however my um my my monitors aren't so <laughs> a new battery will be here tomorrow for me irl because <laughs> uh yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and put all my monitors on battery and i think i'm actually gonna put my like modem and router and uh my brother's computer probably on this on the same battery because why not um so yeah power went out for like two hours the other day and it messed everything up luckily the farm sim autosave did kick in so i didn't quite lose an hour of work in farm sim per se i just lost an hour worth of video because what happened is i didn't i don't have a hotkey set up to stop recording which i need to do but i don't have one set up right now and basically i couldn't see to push stop recording on you know my streamlabs or my obs program that i used to record this series and uh, because of that the video you know stopped recording obviously when the computer shut off but um you know it corrupted the file so there's that whoopsie do learn my lesson ordered a new battery it'll be here tomorrow <laughs> for me so there's that so i will be rigging everything up tomorrow on um another battery backup so if you know say while streaming there's a slight power flash which we've been getting a lot of lately where, where power just drops out for you know three five seconds something like that and comes back on um i won't have any interruption here on the computers it'll be pretty sweet so there's that uh the other thing i wanted to talk about is uh getting ahead on recordings uh rob i got you trust me it was only because of the fourth of july weekend or fourth of july week i should say because it was on thursday this year uh, I prefer when holidays are on weekends personally, but it was on Thursday, so it is what it is. Um, yeah, no, it was only for that week. I know I got behind on comments and stuff, but it was only for the one week. And, uh, well, it's Tuesday for me right now, 1230, and I'm recording this voiceover. And uh, the video's coming out later today. This one's going to take a while, obviously, be before it comes out because of the, uh, the rendering and stuff of the high speed it, it takes it takes more time just saying so there's that but it will be coming out and then i'm hopefully going to make one more later today for tomorrow kind of thing so i won't get too far ahead on you guys trust me i don't like to get ahead anymore i i've realized that this is a far better way of of recording of trying to stay more current and kind of you know with you guys if, if that makes sense so there is that uh somebody did leave a comment in one of the videos about an updated course play that works with um auger wagons i will look into getting that downloaded and stuff i i just haven't had time on the computer honestly um there's that what else was the comment oh the wooden gates we can turn those off apparently that's a mod i'll look into that as well um uh, haven't loaded up the map actually the map is basically ready to go again uh, i did work on uh getting it reset kind of and and planted in a crop i forgot what i planted now oh i know what i planted <laughs> wait till you guys see the next video oh boy it's gonna be a long week it's gonna be a really long week between working on what i planted and i want to start the wood cutting project this week as well so it's gonna be a long week of, of farm sim but i'm down for that i'm always down for the farms them i'm just saying so there is that there is that it'll be a good time plus we did start a new stream slash open server map as well and that's up and running over on uh the 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 server there 
uh, i'm streaming it wednesdays and friday wednesdays and saturdays right now guys just saying around 6 p.m usually a little later but you know it happens uh so if you're watching this one today make sure you guys tune in tomorrow to twitch all of it will be uploaded to youtube eventually but you know come check it out live say hi uh we're playing the county lines map and actually that map is awesome as well uh very highly detailed the map makers are just getting so much better with um making 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 mods making maps they're just oh they're stepping it up and i love it so i mean madison county county lines they're they're just awesome they're just awesome maps so there's that it is also a 4x map and um yeah the guys are chewing through it already we started it saturday actually didn't mean to start it saturday it just kind of happened we were done with kiwi farms um we may have had you know 10 combines running if you didn't see the video uh 10 combines rolling across kiwi farms you can get done with a harvest really fast i'm just saying it's kind of amazing how fast you can actually get done with a harvest it was it was incredible to be completely honest it really was so there's that it was really cool uh i feel like there were some more comments i'm forgetting now i just went through and like read all the comments from like every video that i've posted in the past week and i forget them now oh that one that doesn't pertain to this but i think the same person watches uh why did we post the or why did i post the grand theft auto stream um i screwed up that night and i couldn't get uh sub only mode to work i know what i did there i forgot to hit save changes and i could not get song request to work so i was like hey why not repost it people watching live seem to really enjoy grand theft auto and just the way we were kind of screwing around and and having a good time with it so i figured why not repost that that was a good stream good memories and and that's something i will want to watch back maybe in like you know five years and I do that occasionally with some of the old stuff. I'm not going to lie. I do go back and watch some of the old stuff. And it's like, oh my God, this this is this is great. You know, it's like, mm, I don't know. It's it's entertaining sometimes to go back and watch that stuff. Or like the On the Farm series, which I know I've been slacking greatly at recording for On the Farm. Um, one of these days, I swear, we're going to bust out the camera down there and actually get some video. I actually have a project coming up that I could film. For the on the farm series kind of a return to the farm um the one shed needs some roof work and yeah we've done roof work in a shed before but or in a video before but not uh not on that shed it's the old combine shed uh part of the roof got messed up during the flood i guess we had or i know we had a windstorm with like 70 mile an hour winds down there uh which actually uh flattened a grain bin around the corner from us not ours obviously but around the corner from us wiped out a grain bin big old grain bin just completely annihilated it um it was like 70 mile an hour winds so you know it was the thing um and then it ripped up part of the roof on the on the combine shed well since that part has been you know messed up and we haven't fixed it yet uh more of the roof has uh <laughs> kind of let go basically about half a piece of tin like let's say from left to right but like up and down long ways on the piece of tin it's like the whole thing but like halfway left or right let's say has let go the problem is if you get a big wind gust now you know you got that sail hanging there in the in the breeze so it's kind of dangerous i'm not gonna lie oh there was a comment about using the silage fork for the for the bales i could totally see that uh i only went with the pallet forks because i don't know why but the silage fork i could totally see that now that I know that is a thing, like, I'm all about that life. Uh, if I'm going to store them up, that's what I would do. The only thing is, I don't really like the articulate and articulation of the the loader. I need to see if I can find a loader with uh, four-wheel steer out there in mod world. And I'm sure it's out there. I just haven't gone to uh, look for it, just saying. Because uh, I know in 17 and... 15 and whatnot we had we had those loaders that you know four wheel steer instead yeah oh and then the um oh there's another comment it just hit me oh use my jcb up north on the fields uh because the four wheel steer i don't have the jcb anymore i sold it back i never liked the tractor or, i mean i like the tractor but it never it seemed like every time i used it on course play it would crash my game and obviously I didn't show any of the crashing because usually it happened. Of course, 
magically it happened when I wasn't recording but it crashed my game like three or four times I don't know if it was the JCB or just like a weird coincidence or whatever but I definitely had problems with um, my trailer sliding downhill but anyway I uh, definitely had problems with the JCB and course play I don't know which what was the deal there I don't know if it was the four wheel steer although the Schluter's been the Schluter has been fine did I really just do that I just knocked over a a uh, soda stream bottle that I have in my room for water and, and I mean, I've hit a soda can or two because I'm a dirty person I need to clean my room I need a maid who wants to be my maid I need a maid for sure or I just need to quit being lazy <laughs> you guys probably didn't even hear it or barely heard it I'm making a bigger deal of it than it was but you know that bottle I knocked it over oh well I keep the soda stream bottles. I don't like the carbonated water from the soda stream. It tastes terrible. But the bottles are nice to bring down here. It's like 32 ounces of water and has a nice lid you can put on it and seal it up. I can throw them in the fridge if I wanted to. So I don't use the soda stream. I use the bottles. Is that weird? I don't know. If I don't know if that's weird or not. Uh, I never, I didn't actually buy the soda stream for me anyway. I bought it for mom and she loved it. She loved the carbonated water, but I can't stand it. I think it tastes terrible. Just saying, and I know there's flavors you can put in there. They don't, I don't, I've not experienced like a good flavor. I tried even my G Fuel. That didn't work either. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. It was not a good experience. So anyway, all in bales. Um, so total to pick up all the bales off the fields that I planted in cotton. And yes, I know I have not planted any of my new fields yet. We'll get there. Um, I want to do all the tree work before I even plant down there. So in due time, in due time, this is my week to start uh, the tree work. So you guys are probably going to see a high speed video on tree work. Uh, just saying, and maybe a high speed video on on the other project that we have for the week with what I've planted. Uh, I have planted cotton in the north fields because that's just what I do. Uh, but the other fields, the big fields, I've planted something else that you guys have wanted for a while. And no, it's not sugar cane. However, I don't, wouldn't mind doing a sugar cane harvest on, say, you know, maybe like my one, two, three, and four fields, let's say. A little bit smaller, but still decent size. I wouldn't mind doing that. But not right now. We'll see. We will see. Because that's, that's a project to tackle sugar cane, you know. I'm just saying. That is a project. Uh, but total time, guys, to pick up all these bales and everything was roughly an hour that I lost. Um, at least video-wise, I lost an hour. Roughly lost an hour on the recording. About 50 minutes, maybe, I think, on the on the uh, actual farm uh, in the save. Because I do have autosave set, uh, I think, every 10 or 15 minutes. So I lost about 45 to 50 minutes there. Uh, I was, like, right at an hour, too, when the power went out. It was weird. So I lost some time there. And then... I spent two hours picking up the rest of the bales. So roughly around three hours to pick up all these bales. Um, it doesn't help that I'm running up north. And apparently there's an auto load trailer, which I'm assuming it's that one that we use uh, multiplayer. Maybe I'm not sure uh, that'll do three bales, but this works. This works. Uh, if it is that one we use in multiplayer, I don't actually like that trailer. I'm not a fan. I'm sure there's more auto load trailers out there. I, in fact, I know there is multiple, multiple auto load trailers. So might have to look into one of those eventually. But, you know, two bales at a time is not terrible. It would have been nice if we could have sold them down south. But the price was garbage, garbage, garbage down south. So I just decided to make the trip and haul them up north. Uh, next time we do this, I may just fast time until I have a good price down south. If we do this again, honestly, I don't know if we'll ever plant this much cotton um, on say all of our fields because it is a lot of cotton and it's a lot of money but that's not a bad thing right it allows us to have some money to uh redo that their new piece of land that we want and uh, one of these days i am tempted to cross that river i'm just saying i know i'm gonna need a ton of money though i'm gonna need probably like 10, 15, 20 million. I know Matt spent like 200 million or something, but Matt like made his level. I think with this one, it's just all the smoothing tool. 
and get it quote as smooth as possible just using the smoothing tool but still have some rolls and some hills and stuff down there that's kind of my game plan to be completely honest uh there's probably going to be areas yeah that you fill in or you you take down level either way but my goal would be just to use as much smoothing tool as possible to just smooth everything and make it kind of mellow kind of like mount puma plow where it's just kind of mostly harvestable there are some spots with regular combines still that that don't like to harvest but we can fix those we just haven't i just haven't done that uh cotton harvesters did great across all the fields that i've made and everything they handled it like champs and uh no worries the worst part was uh after i like set them to go on say all these big fields down here especially mount puma plow and by the time i came back the um the maintenance little meter there was all the way at the bottom <laughs> like it was bad the thing was barely moving because you know of course when it wears out it just goes slower so it was like crawling it was pretty pretty awesome in a way not gonna lie like awesomely bad <laughs> just saying it was definitely awesomely bad but it was fun at the same time don't get me wrong uh, i did enjoy you know having all this cotton on the map and everything and running it and i believe when i recorded this it was the other night it was what friday night or something after stream something like that i recorded it was late whatever night it was it was late when i recorded this and able to watch a podcast and listen to the police scanner to keep me awake you know the good times actually i watched I watched all kinds of YouTube, I think, while I was doing this. Because it was like two hours long. A podcast I watch is usually like less than that. So usually around an hour and a half. So I, I believe I watched some other YouTube first, maybe. I don't remember. I know there's a spot somewhere in this video where I like drive off the road. Because I was messing with YouTube. <laughs> On the other screen. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know that's what it was. So, Yeah. Uh, for those of you that didn't watch uh, the, the Minecraft stream, I watched the movie Bohemian Rhapsody. Finally. Uh, got it on a DVD. And it was awesome. I really enjoyed that movie. I just didn't... I mean, I should have realized, but like... I didn't realize it was basically just going to be, hey, let's listen to Queen for an hour and a half. I'm cool with that. I'm just saying. Great movie. Highly recommend it if you guys even slightly you know like the, the the band queen even if you don't i think it's still good it had you know like the people that don't believe and then you know the band's like all about it like with uh bohemian rhapsody you know it's a six minute song well at the time and i would assume now still radio doesn't like that radio likes a three minute song well queen believed in it and look at what bohemian rhapsody came my god the song had to have made like billions of dollars by now right i love the song just saying i've actually not heard a queen song i don't like so <laughs> just saying back in the day way back in the day uh story time story time it's like it's like uh tiktok uh way back in the day the original xbox would allow you to rip a cd to the hard drive and certain games would let you play that music through your TV speakers while you were gaming. And Halo never let you do that. Halo 2, Halo, Halo 2, it wouldn't work. But we had Fort, Forza Motorsports, like the original one, or maybe the second. I think it was the original one, honestly. And it would let you bump the music through. So anytime I played that game, which I played that game a lot back in the day, not as much as Halo 2, but I played that game a lot. I would always, and I mean always, have music playing. And once upon a time, I think my sister got Queen's Greatest Hits or something. There was, it was like two CD thing. And I ripped both of those to my Xbox. And I listened to those, mostly the first one. The second one was good, but the first one had, you know, Rap Bohemian Rhapsody and Killer Queen and we are the champions and we will rock you like all the the big hits you know and i listened to that cd that album whatever you want to call it on a loop every time i played <laughs> every time i played that and we had some other games that would let you bleed through the music too but man, halo it would have been awesome if halo did because 
I played so much Halo, it would have just been sweet, but you know, you kind of needed to listen in Halo to figure out where your enemies were, you know what I'm saying? So there's that. There is that. And actually, now that I have an Xbox hooked up again and I'm I'm enjoying my Xbox kind of in a way, I, I really enjoyed playing Grand Theft Auto on console. Um, I don't enjoy Grand Theft Auto on PC. I've tried it. I don't I don't care for it. Honestly, I really don't care for it. Um, but I'm, I'm tempted to start doing a little bit more console. I, I'm not going to say an Xbox let's play a farm sim because yeah, there's no course play. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying we'll never see it again, but y you never know. Um, I did some things to my console and, uh, it seems to be running a whole lot better. So there's that, but, um, I'm very, very happy with, uh, with it right now. So Xbox or Minecraft or not Minecraft. No, no Minecraft is it's, it's bedrock edition. And I'm not a fan of bedrock edition. Um, actually somebody in my family really wants to play bedrock edition with me. And I'm just like, eh, I don't want to play bedrock edition. <laughs> like, I don't mind jumping into a Minecraft world, but there's so much stuff to like do in a minecraft world that to set up it's like hours and hours and hours and i just don't want to put that into the bedrock edition i'm not gonna lie if i could run a server on bedrock and like you know have other people jump in and and play and you know build stuff too like i would probably do that but since i i don't think that's a thing uh, at least last time i looked into it it wasn't a thing you had to like be a real company or something i don't know it was a whole thing but uh, that'd be super cool if i could get a server on on uh, the bedrock edition or whatever they call it on there i think it's called something else i don't even know it's been forever since i looked into it but yeah it'd be super cool um but yeah no i want to play some sea of thieves on console and i really have this hankering this hankering to finish this game called i think it's bridge constructor or bridge builder or something uh, i played it way back in the day on xbox i think i even streamed it once or twice Maybe, 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 I don't remember if I streamed it actually, if I just played it, but, uh, you build bridges and then cars go over them and then eventually trucks and then a tanker truck. That's like your ultimate test. And I would love to, uh, play that game and, and like hundred percent complete it. I don't know why that's like one game that's with me. That's I'm it's like, I want the achievements in that game and I don't really achievement hunt in any games. I used to a little bit. Um, you can look at my gamer tag on Xbox, which of course is Primo Plowboy. Uh, you can find it in the about section on the YouTube page, but, uh, you can, you can see that I didn't really achievement hunt most games because I don't have a lot of achievements in most games. I think there's a, there's a few games I have one achievement in and those were games like we rented or borrowed back in the day on like disc. I, I don't even know what a game on a disc is anymore between Steam and downloading stuff right on xbox uh i don't own any xbox one games on a disc i own all digital all, all digital all the time basically for uh my console so there's that the other game i want to play some of is halo wars and i want to try maybe to get into halo wars 2 i never i played it a little bit played a little bit of the story the campaign with uh, my buddy casey but i I kind of want to get into it, but not really. I don't know. <laughs> I, I enjoy Halo, Halo Wars, the original one so much, but I don't know if they could, you know, recreate it with the second one. Um, kind of like with Halo 2 and then Halo 3 and they're completely different multiplayer experiences. Halo 2 is far superior in my opinion. And then you get the diehard Halo 3 people that are like, oh my God, that's no Halo 2 is terrible. And Halo 3 is the best thing ever. Whatever. Difference of opinion is fine. I've been talking a lot about Halo. So how about farm sim? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, farm sim. Yeah. Farming. Uh, so those of you that have stuck around this far in the video, you want to know what I planted? You want to know what's what's going to be in the next video? I'm just going to tell you because it's going to come out probably tomorrow. At least a, a peek at it. Maybe not a full like high speed video. Maybe maybe a, a you know, a peek at it. We'll see. 
uh maybe i'll do a video of like setting up for the week so you know setting up for that and setting up for the wood chipping and then the hauling and everything because i'm probably gonna have to i think i'm gonna lease some tractors and some tippers uh and go at it with tractors and tippers instead of semi trucks um i do have a semi truck that's modded that has more power but i i think i'd rather run with tractors personally so probably going to be getting some tractors, some decent sized tippers. Um, I want to set up a field bin so that I can, you know, dump with the wood chipper whenever, and I don't have to wait for the tractors to come back and like it, it can hold like 2 million liters. So that'll be a thing set up course play, obviously for all that. Um, I think the first thing I'm going to do though, is go through and take out all the ditches down there just so we don't have any issues with wherever I run a course for course play. Um, there's actually another tractor I wouldn't mind buying as well. It's, it's a mod that looks really good. I think it looks really good. I don't know. I'm not sure how. I'm not sure. I haven't seen it actually in the game yet, but I know it works. I just haven't seen it in the game and I don't know what I would use it for right now. That's the other problem. I have tractors that I don't use already. Hence why I got rid of the JCB. But, uh, anyway, so those of you that have stuck around, like I was saying, I have planted corn and I will be silaging or chopping or forage harvesting or whatever you want to call it. The corn. <laughs> I will be placing a bunker somewhere on our new property. Uh, probably one of those fields real close there. And uh, I'll be I'll be chopping corn, boys. Uh, I don't know if we'll chop all of it. We may just go until we get that bunker full. I think we'll have more than a bunker full. To be completely honest um and then we could just harvest the rest with combines uh, of course i'd have to get up get some corn heads but i don't mind that uh, i wouldn't mind running corn you know an actual corn harvest too for corn wouldn't mind that of course but uh you guys talked about you know chaff make silage that kind of stuff earlier um probably gonna sell it all as well and there's a really good price on this map i think anyway we'll see how it turns out per trailer load of uh silage so we will be bringing in some mods for that. Definitely the snowblower mod will be a thing. 100% for sure for unloading the bunker. Um, and I don't really know what other mods we'll need. But that, that one for sure. I have it on here already. It's already here. But uh, yeah, so we'll be running that. And probably going to do a high speed video of of that as well. It, it's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't know. We'll see. We will see, but definitely a high speed video of uh, wood cutting. I know it's been a while since we've done some wood cutting. I think it's time. We definitely need to uh, work on that. You know, we bought all that ground and we haven't touched it yet. So it's it's time. And then, oh, there's the spot where it was probably on YouTube. Uh, and I said, you know, when I bought that property that it was going to be a week or so before we messed with it. Well, it's that week now where we get to mess with it. So we should probably crack on and do that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. All right, sorry, a little drink break there. Um, yeah, so here we are, guys. We're almost at the end of our two hours of picking up bales. Uh, just saying, look at our money scoreboard up there in the top right. It's quite quite real, by the way. By the way, I love my cough button. Button on the uh, Go XLR, I can just push and cuts my microphone, so I can cough, and you guys don't even know. You guys don't even know. It's pretty fantastic. You wouldn't have known unless I just said something about it. Anyway, look at all that money up there, guys. <laughs> Spoiler, we made over $5 million in this video. Or between the part I lost and in this video, we made over $5 million. So, cotton on all the fields. Um, yeah, it's worth it. Just saying. it's 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 worth it. Um, and actually, oh, there's another thing you guys didn't know. I, I did show it in the video that, that got corrupt and I had to delete. Uh, we did pick up two more cotton harvesters as well. So we have four cotton harvesters now. Um, and I did show that in that other video. But unfortunately, it went to corrupt land and I had to delete it. So yes. But like I said, we do own four cotton harvesters. I actually think I'm going to station them at the new farm. I need a shed up here is what I need, but there's just no room for a shed up here. Um, so I think I'm going to station them at the new farm 
Yeah, there's a shed there. I think they'll fit in that shed that's there. I think. I tried to put this semi truck in there once, but th this trailer is way too tall. So I think they'll fit in that shed up at the new farm. So that's where they're going to live. Uh, so I don't have to put up more sheds around my farm because I'm running out of room. I'm not going to lie. So some new sheds, some new grain bins are going to be coming to that new farm. Maybe, maybe we'll work on that in the next video. I'm not sure. But there it is, guys, right somewhere here. $5.1 million. How sweet is that? Thank you guys for watching another Farms of Madison County. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, toodles.